urging the homeless to head indoors this week. There are three cold shelters to keep people warm in Lowndes County. The Salvation Army on Virginia Avenue, Grace Fellowship Church, and the New Horizons Homeless Shelter. Our Nolani Matthews talked to one homeless man who is fighting more than just the cold. Say, you know, you homeless and they ride right by. The countless times people pass Ernie Matchett without so much as a backward glance. Staying in abandoned houses, buildings, no electricity, no lights, no water. Homeless and alone. Learning that you've got an incurable disease. Matchett suffers from pancreatic cancer and a life that's dealt him a bad hand one too many times. Sometimes, you know, you don't tell people because they won't help you, no way. Match it getting the bad news about his health instead of the job he applied for at Christmas, helping the Salvation Army. Just need somewhere to stay, some somewhere to stay warm. Now the Salvation Army offering something else, a warm bed and people that care. It's a feeling of knowing that we've made a difference in a person's life who can't do anything for us. The agency helping Match it find refuge from the bone chilling cold to see another day. <laughs> His gratitude, payment enough. To be given a blanket, to be given any kind of comfort or show some compassion, is really, it, it's warm. It's the word, what I guess uh, warming might not be the word, but. Heartwarming. Heartwarming, great. In Valdosta, Nolani Matthews, WCTV, Eyewitness News. And so thankful they are there for you. Many of these shelters do have limited space. Lowndes County officials said they are monitoring things just in case they need to open some additional shelters. And for